Hello, beautiful diamonds of light. It's your girl, Diamond of Light, and it is 1 51 a.m. Y'all, I'm up tonight. Um, I feel like my guys got me up, and I'm up being creative. I'm, this is what I used to do. I feel like I'm just literally getting myself back, okay? I'm fighting against the grain because I have been up on the. Um, it's been a beautiful day. I spent a lot of time with my daughter because her birthday is coming up soon, and you know, we're already doing things with her. Um, but, um, I was up on a lot of, um, attacks today, but I got through it. Um, is the task getting heavier and heavier, um, towards me? And I know the more that I'm seen and put out there, the more evil I'm going to get, the more attacks, the more people going to want to come out against me, the more it's going to be jealous eyes on top of the people that's already trying to do spell work and energy harvest and you know you got the new found and new energy coming along and the, the new eyes i don't i know it's the the more you get you know put yourself out there the, you know the more the heavier the energy can get too but it's all good um a point of time for everything you know um you were built for this beautiful dogs of light just know that you were built for this Okay. Um, don't never be afraid to be you. Because know that as long as you're being authentic and your heart is pure, and you're not out here doing malicious things, that you will always be protected. And know that when you're divine like that, you're truly divine. That's why you can I can get up here and speak divine truth and clarity. I can get up here and really not worry anything because I know that I'm not going to get hit with anything like that because I'm not doing anything. Um... Malicious. My heart is really pure. Um, and what I'm guided to do is coming straight from the divine. It's my mission. So I'm going to continue to do it. Um, the pressure is real. You know, the attacks be real. But like I say, I know that as long as I'm in divine order and I'm not doing anything malicious and I'm working on myself and loving myself and giving praise and honor to God and living in gratitude, and expanding and growing every day that nothing's going to happen to me because I don't do anything to deserve those type of energies. Now, do I still have to experience things and stuff? Yes. Do energy still show up? Some? Yes. It's not because um, I'm doing anything wrong. It's just that um, it's still things that I have to see and learn. And I'm having to have tests because... Like I say, um, it's going to be new energies all the time, new people, you know. And it don't be you doing nothing wrong. It be the people. It depends on how much energy, how much force, how much um, negativity is being thrown at you, you know. Because some of us got more people at this time, and some depends on who you are, that, ha that hate you and envy you and, you know, uh, despise you, then love you and, and want to support you. But Spirit is saying in time, as you grow, as you continue to show up for you, it's going to be more people to love you. And that love is going to help balance out all those negative um, evil eyes and jealousy that a lot of other people have been throwing at you. The love from other people will help also. Um, the support from other people will help protect you as well. So um, it takes a lot of energy to hate. But that little bit of love you can have, you can have um, a handful of people love you. Um, so you can have 10 people love you, right? I mean, love you wholeheartedly. But you got a million people that are giving you this evil eye, hating you and jealous of you. Those 10 people love overrides all those ten, the, that million of people's hate. That's that's the scenario. So back to it, like if you got um thousands of people that hate you or people that's envious of you and send you to either eye and if you got two people that love you even just one that really love and appreciate you your their, their energy their love is going to help uphold you as well as long as as long as your heart is in check you know what i'm saying it's just more love from the divine that's bringing you support in your mission and your guidance and your protection you know um Cause you'll be a you'll be a beacon of light light for people, as well as them for you, you know, in their own way, energetically, whether you see it or know it or not. Okay.
Just keep being you. Beautiful down to life. And we all are here on different missions. You know, everybody is not meant. Um, we do things different. Everybody, some people do things in secret. They're not, they might not be on social media doing stuff like that and be out in the public eye, but they're doing a lot of good things. You know, they're doing a lot of good things behind closed doors that people can't see and their heart is pure. You know, um, a lot of people are not meant to be out here like that, you know. Um, but it's a lot of great people that are um, not out here on platforms. It's doing wonderful things, okay. Uh, confirmation birth. So just because you don't see it, we don't see it, don't mean that it's not. It's not happening. It's it's beautiful things going on behind the scenes, okay? It's beautiful things going on behind the scenes. Beautiful. Um, we just got to trust in the um, process. Yeah, I was like, let me do a little recording. I be thinking about jumping on live, but I do. I, it's a reason why I don't, I'm guided not to go live for the most part. You know, um protect my energy. I know people be wanting me to go live and stuff like that, but um, because I have so many spiritual attacks, uh, every now and then I go live because I have so many people that want to target me. Um, you know, my energy, um, my, my energy, my live energy, I have to keep more sacred at this time. And to a point in time, um, Every now and then, spirit tell me it's okay to go live, but I'm guided not to. That's why I don't really go live. I'm guided not to go live. Um, because um, for my own protection at this time. You know, for my own protection. Because people, some people want, not everybody, but some people want you to go live because they want to be able to cipher your energy. Live is different. It's like, so, so for instance, if I'm recording, I'm pre-recording, that energy is old when I get ready to load up here. I've already cleared that energy. I'm already in a new energy. And um, anything that they try to do to that energy, if I've already alchemized and transmuted and put up a protection barrier for that energy, then, you know, if they try to do anything to that, it's, you know, uh, just different reason than if I was to go live and somebody try to capture my Epson and burn a candle while I'm live and doing chants chants and all kind of doing stuff while my while my live stream is doing you thinking they watching you and they're really doing magic on you you see what i'm saying yeah the same thing when people go live too you gotta be careful on who all channels you going on like I, if i see somebody burning a bunch of different candles and shit on their live i'm not i'm not even finna chime in dog you know what I'm saying? Especially if you let me see all that. But you just doing a lot of time they trying to energy harvest off their audience. No, just be mindful who you chiming in on too. A lot of people don't like when I be speaking truth. Because people be wanting you to chime in on their live too, just to siphon your energy. But they're doing spell work. They're doing they got candles and stuff burning and you know, trying to uh harness your energy, a lot of energy from a lot of people to, you know, help them manifest and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just got to be careful, you know. But you can't never be afraid to do nothing. Just make sure you protect yourself and you're ready. Like, it ain't that I don't feel like I'm protected. It's just that because I'm up on the such constant warfare, it's just not time yet. And the way when, um, when my energy is needed, it's going to be, like, in person. Like, I'm going to be, uh, it's not going to, ain't nothing to go on live. I will start probably going live more because, um, how I, how I might be end up doing stuff, doing things and stuff. I will be probably end up going live and doing things or whatever. But I'm also gonna be um probably soon doing stuff in person. So and you know my body and I'm getting my my activate I'm getting my activations and upgrades and all this other stuff and constantly. Uh, being activated, activated, alchemizing the energy that's getting thrown at me on a constant basis out of just, you know, what I'm having to experience for no reason. So, 
We desire my own protection. But I do go live sometimes. And it's late. I definitely ain't finna be going live during no witching hour or none of that. Just by that time. Yeah, my dad been okay. It's just you know that's what I mean too. Like, um, I got so like I can't make this up a lot. Like I got a lot of people that's out want me dead, you know. Like literally wanting me gone because they're still trying to you know steal my inheritance and you know life insurance policy get away with crimes and stuff and. They think that me being dead is going to stop them from having to uh, face prison time or going to jail or whatever. It's beyond that right now. If I was to end up passing away, they're just going to go down for murdering me too. You know what I'm saying? They just, they're already going to have attempted murder or they have attempted a, a murder on their hands. Okay. So... Me being, me dying ain't going to take shit away, your problems away. But it's like some people know that they're already in a lot of trouble, but they will just, just the mere fact of me being dead and not receiving it, they think it'll bring them a peace of mind, but that'll never happen. They got to live with their consequences, and I'm, they're going to see me live my purpose and not stop. They're going to know that people, people going to find out that the divine is real, that God is real. They never believed in it, and it ain't it ain't how they think it God is from this whole religious construct and, and, and doctrine. It's none of that. It's, it's, it's really a person who is really pure at heart and living righteously, all right, and, and mean well by their self and everybody else and not out here doing messed up stuff to their self or others and living in their authenticity and, and divine purpose, 12, 12 on the clock. That's it. That's that's what people are gonna have to start seeing. It ain't that going to church, going to do all these sinful things, and because you know people think Jesus died on the cross for your sins, and you can ask for your forgiveness and go to church Sunday, go to Bible study, go to church on Bible Bible study on Wednesdays, and ask for forgiveness and from and for your sins and keep doing the same thing. Ask for forgiveness for doing the spell work. Ask for forgiveness for you know. Uh, 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 doing all your dirt because as long as, as long as Jesus forgives you, as long as you ask for forgiveness, you think you're still getting up in heaven. That is all a fucking trick from the enemy. That's why people starting to get karma now because they thought that only reason why things been going good for them from all this spell work they've been doing from all this red this thievery from all this things they've been doing for years and get away with it is because they done prayed to God they asked Jesus for forgiveness and they was forgave. Now they seeing that mm mm. This must be an energetic thing. Karma must be real. What? With the times changing? What is about all this? So they starting to see it. They ask like, wait a minute. What's God now? What's Jesus? I have to ask for forgiveness. I ask. No, because it comes a point in time, baby. Ain't no Jesus coming to save you or forgive you for your sins. It's just that now that the energy has shifted and changed and the dark agenda is over, we move into higher vibrations and frequencies, which is the divine essence of God. All right? The energy, it's just all about energy. It has changed. Astrologically, you learn about planetary, planets, and all the other stuff. Unless you can, you got to know it all. But learn about energy and dynamics of, of, of the cosmic universal cycles. That's how you know something. A little something, anyway. You ain't got to know it all to kind of get it. But people are starting to realize that, damn, they're going to realize that if they had, and they're going to realize that, um, what I'm trying to say. Oh, yeah, that karma's real, and it just was waiting a point in time. Because God is a forgiving guy. You was being forgiven, but you wouldn't learn your lesson. You kept doing the same thing, so, all right, it's time. Since you want to keep doing the same thing, you ain't learn your lesson, your soul. You can't do this, and... Ask for forgiveness and things gonna be alright. You still trying to hurt innocent people? One four 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 on the clock. It's it's a price to pay. You know. I don't know how much.
my phone lot. I must pay up. I done took these right out and did me some sleep gummies. And I mean, these things ain't even sleeping. They ain't sleeping. <laughs> That's why I know it's... Uh... And I took my medicine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and and I, ain't, I know it's God. I know it's my ancestors and God's keeping me up tonight. And I'm able to be up too and be creative. Like, usually I'm just wanting to lay around. But tonight is like... <laughs> do what you used to do because that's what I used to do I used to be up uh, for hours at a time painting working on my pieces like it'd be my quiet time you know I might get a little bit done during the day but a lot of times during the day I got stuff to do you know my daughter and house and you know I might find a little time in the day when I spend time I do get time for myself I come to my room but uh, um but I used to be up, you know, uh, like hours at a time at night, like getting a lot of paint done. And I, I can't even remember last time I did this, but I, I remember I love, you know, that's what I did. I used to stay up. I'm a night owl anyway, y'all. It's, it's still like early for me. <laughs> anyway, it's like there's not even my normal time I go to bed. You know what I'm saying? I done stayed up till the sun came up just on my per instance. instance and I know that it'd be source and my ancestors keep me up because people you know seriously doing massive spell work on me so <clears throat> they be keeping me up hmm. i don't like the way that's kind of going that's too big at the bottom i think but i gotta find a way to maybe downsize this without making it look Maybe I can go back there. Yeah, I'm going to touch it back up. I'm going to make me some gray. We'll see. Let me see now. Because if I can't, I can't. But if I am, let me get this paint while it's wet. I just don't like the bottom of it right here. Yeah, there we go. I need to, like, um, see, like, it's just. Too wide down now. Like it need to be smaller or something. I don't know. You can always fix things, you know. Sure. Yeah, I'm looking through it up here and trying to make it, you know, like draw that in and make it look like, you know, um, you don't know, but I keep saying you know. What what you know? Tell me what you know. <laughs> uh, I don't even know, but I just go with the flow for real though, so I can put on the show. Mm. I love, I love paint though, like, you know, my art, I don't know, it's, 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 it's different, it's not realism, but I haven't been painting that long, but I'm proud of myself, but like I say, all my art, that's what makes me unique as an artist, I always say this, uh, is my art be intuitive, predictive messages, energetic messages, messages that I'm giving to give and they come to pass. That's what my art be. Yeah. I be it's reasons why I, I paint what I paint. It's it's reasons behind it. But this is definitely um simple. I've already spoken basically on this and it's happening. Um this basically about eco-friendly living and stuff so but it's also something else that they probably want me to speak on about it so for sure something to do with the planets and you know when they get done what's going on what i feel energetic and what i pick up on and 
stuff like that. I had a lot of I didn't get all of them on the sides. Right here. I know I'm always doing something and I'm always be posting and so I love doing this. It's like I say, everything I do is from to inspire me, be inspiration for me. When I record myself and I and I do this record myself and I post it, it's basically I I I do this to inspire me and I I got it to do this to hoping to help others, you know, never to, 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 you know, help others to have confidence in themselves, believe in themselves. Not saying you got to be doing what I'm doing. That's the thing, too. Like, people think, people see you doing something and see how you're doing and they're thinking, oh, this seems like it's getting, you know, this, uh, maybe they see, read, especially if they do readers or something or something, then they can be trying to read into your energy or see, you know, maybe this can take you into some type of stardom or fame or whatever, whatever. So they want to start doing it. That ain't what God, this this is not what I'm doing, but this, that's not what it's about. I don't do this for that. See, that's what people get the wrong notion at. So other people want to do this to find the means of a, a upcome that this can make them famous, something that's notable, something that's hot. So, you know, fast. Uh, so they want to try to do it, um, hoping that, that, you know, especially people that got more followers and stuff than you, uh, that's what gets me. Uh, and they want to try to energy harvest and basically someone want to wear your skin or just try to take what you're doing and make it theirs. And a lot of times that's, it's judgment for that because you're not doing it because you was guided to. You're not doing it out of your heart. You're not doing it, um, because, you know, it's something that, you feel you just doing it hoping that you can catch on to it because um it seems like it's something that can it's trending that can get you notoriety. You it's you enter you see it's like amazing you so it's more like you're doing it for attention, you're doing it hopefully to, to make money off of it or you know, you're trying to take somebody else in in essence and you want it to seem like you came up with something somebody else doing and it's like when you do it that way you you really held accountable for that because now you're trying to take away from somebody that worked hard doing what they're doing all right you're trying to basically steal somebody else's essence because you got more views and you got more followers you know um that ain't how that go But it's all right to be inspired. Everybody's got to find what... Everybody not meant to be artists. Everybody got their own... Like I said, some people behind the scenes. Um, your gift or whatever you... Like, say for instance, you're a hairdresser, right? You're not just hairdresser. You learn about hair care and natural hair care. You help people learn how to grow their hair and take care of their skin. And, and then not only if they come to your shop and they get to you, you kind of like a counselor, a therapist for them. Like, they can talk to you and maybe you have intuitive insight on what God has to say to them because you really get to this in, in, in some type of way through the connection of the divine. You see things or whatever. That's how you're meant to do that. You know, you can be just on your job, even if you're on your job, right? And you at a company, your energy could be used there um, with your gifts to be able to help people um, in their life with little, little small things, you know, um, it's it's not always about having to show up on these platforms and seem like you got to be doing something grand and um, grandocious and stuff. You know, it's it, that's not um, even Jesus. Like, yeah, he did miracle. Right, the, the, I always had to get a scenario, scenario right? Because people, under, we all grew up in these biblical times. You know, we know that, right? So he he was um. He he was around the the less fortunate, right? The he was around, you know, the 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 the, the you know the the wealthy and stuff like they don't get it twisted because it says in the Bible, you know, he wasn't just around the poor, but a lot of times he went amongst those who were less fortunate and stuff, and those are the ones that he presented his presented his gifts and and glory to, and it, it's like he didn't do it for the fame, he didn't do it. He did because he knew it was his calling. He didn't do it for the money. He knew that him helping others 24, 42 on the clock. He knew that him helping others, you know, was what he was called to do. And because he did that, people wanted to give to him and help him because he was because he was helping them. It wasn't about um he was doing this just for that. He was doing it because he was really meant to do these things 
because that's what he was purposing to design and divinely uh, guided to do through by his guidance, his gifts. When he could, when he did these miracles and stuff, he didn't do these miracles for pay or did these miracles for attention or fame or nothing like that. Yeah, because he did a lot of great things. Yeah, you got a book about him, you hear about him or whatever, whatever, whatever. Do you also hear about how he was chastised and, you know, uh, and, and, and hung and all this beating and all this other stuff. He didn't die, by the way. Let me tell you that. What I got, I got, he was in that tomb healing for three days. They never did kill him. But anyway, that's another download story I had got that I spoke on today. But, yeah. So, it's like, uh, But um, it's like when you're doing it because you love helping people, because that's what he did. He know he was he knew he had these abilities and he really did it out of love because he helped people. Some people use their abilities for good. Some people use their abilities for bad. But because he was helping so many people, people envied it. People didn't like it. It was making, helping people to be able to see that they can be free, be their self, um, and helping people to think for themselves, right? And um, that's the thing, like, when people are doing it because they're living their purpose and they're authentic and they're doing it because they love it as part of their journey and healing, it was embodied with these gifts from guys that activated in them and they was able to work do miracles and work miracles and have real gifts and be activated and stuff like that it's because of the work that they put in and because it was appointed to unto god the energy from god that gifted them with these things because they deemed themselves worthy but other people will come along with are you putting your hard work all your hard work and God ordained you, get gift to you, not even ordained to get God gift to you with these beautiful gifts and abilities and talents and whatever to flourish in. And then somebody else, other people see you in this essence and instead of them being inspired by to find their own way, they want to try to stop you from being great or take it from you or mimic you or, or um, try to steal your essence and you not get credit for it, right? 27, 27 o'clock. So it's like, you know, those things you're gonna have to you're gonna have to um you're gonna be held accountable for that because it's like stealing, right? Um energy ciphering, you know. You're not doing it in other words, you're not doing it because it's something you love or because it's really helping you heal or you just doing it because you're hoping to get some type of monetary gain or attention or whatever from it. You got to do whatever you be doing from your heart because you was divinely guided to do it, okay? And everybody think maybe you, you're decided to, decided to do um, health, something in health, something to do with healing. It don't have to be art. Maybe you want music. I mean, different art things. Maybe you was guided to do something with children. Maybe you was guided to learn sign language to do something with, help the, with the deaf. Maybe you... um. You know, different reason why we're here. And it don't have to be nothing about being on platforms and being, you know, known and, you know, all the other stuff. Everybody have their things that they do, that they're guided to do here. Even if you're meant to be here just to help your children or just to help your family or just to help yourself. Because that's what I'm doing, basically helping myself. Uh, confirmation bird, excuse me, and Bobby me helping myself. I'm a, I'm I'm a, I'm a filming it. I'm filming my story. I'm filming the things I'm doing. This for me, see me watching me grow, me watching me, and doing all this stuff and looking at these things and seeing my growth over years. And I was guided to do this too. It ain't nothing that I, you know. Oh, I want to be on social media. I mean, for years I had a family member because they've been knowing I was gifted and talented in so many ways, been trying to get me to get online and read cards and do all this stuff, and I never did. Because I was like, no, I'm, God didn't tell me that it wasn't time yet, but my ancestors and God finally spoke to me and told me, it's time. This is what we want you to do. And trust me, for a minute, I bucked it. I was like, mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. <laughs> and it was like, they kept screaming at me. They kept basically like, this is what you meant to do. This is what you're going to do. Period. And that's the thing when you're meant to do something. It's, it's going to come from God. You're going to know. 
It ain't because you see nobody else doing it. Because I didn't see no what I'm doing. Not saying art. Art ain't nothing new about art and painting, okay? Because I ain't, like I say, I'm not the best artist like that, but I never compare myself to nobody else's artwork because I, I, I feel, I know my artwork is beautiful to be only been doing it for a little over four years. All right, about four and a half years. I think I do an excellent damn job, job and it's unique in its own way. And I have painted things um, from my energy, from my downloads, from intuitive insights, intuitive messages, um, psychic messages, that come to pass. That's what makes my art unique. Okay. So that's what somebody, that's what had been done. Okay. Hadn't four and a half years ago. Now people try to do it and mimic it and, you know, start, you know, telling, you know, storylines and what the art meant, this, this, and that. But um, I didn't, I hadn't seen nobody. Yeah. Everybody, always, art always have storylines. Let me get that. Let me, let's get that straight. Let's get that straight. Let me make, let me correct that. Art has always had storylines. That's what comes from your imagination. But I have I hadn't seen nobody, and I looked it up doing predictive or art in these times since the internet age. I hadn't seen anybody doing um, intuitive predictive art. Like maybe people did some intuitive art where they put colors together and said the colors up and da 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 da. But I never seen anybody paint these pictures and giving these images and these messages of art to paint and the messages that they have given about the art they paint come to pass like psychic art that i hadn't i hadn't seen that and it's crazy because i thought i started doing this um i started noticing um four uh, almost five years ago i started noticing more in cartoons and on televisions um it started showing up i even seen it like come on that show charmed or um uh, uh the last one the last season like it was a new chick like a melanated chick that came up there she was melanated or mixed with way she was melanated uh she her art she would paint something and she can pull it out and it come to life um it was just other things uh that i seen uh happen uh, like you know and then the guy started showing me things like in the past kind of to like and I guess in some anime and stuff like that, like that was a thing. But it just like it start, I started seeing it more in television shows. Even on that show, Manifest seasons later, after um, well, well, I think Manifest came out after I started doing intuitive predictive art, like on my um page. Like they it's like one of the things that was in the Manifest show was like him drawing and sketching some the future predictions, like right. And I just started seeing it on certain, like, TV shows and stuff. Even, like, um, a while ago when I had was having a lot of headaches, uh, I had I was having these headaches, these massive headaches that wouldn't go away. And so I went to the hospital, and I ended up giving up some of my... They had did a spinal tap and get taken my cerebral fluid. And it kind of made me mad. I, well, that was before I came into... That was, like, in 2015. That was before I came into knowing that, you know... Into my full awakening and remembering things and da da da. So I remember, like, I was working on my art and stuff, right? No, in 2015, I was doing art already. And I remember I wanted to, maybe I had just started, it was when I had started doing my art or something, but I remember when I had came up, y'all know that show Lock and Key. So I had said that I was going to want to paint a paint. And I did a paint, the paint, I painted the painting, but I was like, I need to, I want to paint a painting where it's a lot of different, um, or like doors you can go through in the mind and the brain like um you have to like I had said that and it's crazy that I told I kept on procrastinating I kept on saying but I don't know how I'm a painting I don't know because that was early in my early beginning of my painting stage and I was telling my baby dad at the time I was like but I don't know how to, I don't know how I'm gonna put it on paint but I had came up with that concept and out of nowhere I'm like and I ain't told nobody this but him right and then lock and key came out I was like it's basically like the fucking painting I said I wanted to paint. <laughs> so it's like, you know, um, when they get our DNA, our blood, and stuff, stuff like that, they be tapping into our energy. But it's like they only got so much access to so much stuff because as these energies and frequencies, we get we get upgrades and activations. Our DNA shifts and change all the time. So they can never get all of you anyway. But <clears throat> Confirmation, bro. Excuse me. So... It's just like I know this, like you know, they 
stuff about the things I was experiencing. It was something else, a couple other things that came out on damn TV or something that I had uh, spoke on and came up with or said, you know, just in my own life or whatever, and I seen it pop up on television. It's just weird. But I do see things, too, before they happen, so maybe I was thinking about it could have been the other way around, right? Because maybe I could have been thinking about painting this, but they already was doing a show on it, and I could have just picked up on the show, like, because my abilities, right? So it could have been either or. That's what Spirit telling me, so I don't know. But either way, I picked up on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm... I'm um, I love... I, I, I'm grateful that I was gifted with this and given these things to do, you know? Um... And I love what I do. Um, art is just part of it, though. There's so many different things. It's like God done gave me visions of things to do and create and invent. And I don't share them and I wouldn't because, like I say, people already be trying to steal what I what I mimic and do what I do now. So I've shared them with my baby daddy and I'm like, I can see, like, because, like, he never would help me really invent these things and create these things. Like, I've been wanting to ask and need him for years now. I don't know why he don't. I don't know if it's out of jealousy or whatever, but it's crazy because my, the things I came up with, I feel like if I was to have a team or, like, I was to really went to somebody, like, that really cared, like, see my vision was willing to step behind me and support it because they seen like that can help better our future and bring financial stability to, to us at least gonna figure out a way to make it happen because they're smart enough to have the connections to or whatever or could build it because stuff that he could have helped me create and build too like it's stuff that i was giving years ago and nobody still ain't done it and then it was stuff that i was given last year to do and it's just god said it's just for me and it's like but I don't get the support of him. It's, it's crazy. That's why I be saying, like, I get so frustrated and people, and, you know, he be one. I be like, that's why I be like, man, I be having these babies, man, and I be not having people and family. I kind of be, you know, I don't want to say stuck in my situation, but because of, you know, I'm just not gonna be doing. doing it. It's just a reason. I don't. I don't want to leave another. I, I keep saying about my daughter and stuff. It's a reason why I'm still here. And although, you know, put it out there, I'm not the happiest in my relationship, and I'm not. Um, we basically basically just merely existing around each other. Um, and it's it's not easy. It's not easy because we told don't have really much or nothing in common. Um. But I'm here. I'm here, you know, for the sake of my daughter. I love my daughter. And I say that. And I tell her all the time, girl, I love you. <laughs> because, you know, I think me and him both know, you know what I'm saying, that if it weren't for her, we probably wouldn't be together. But I think, you know, everybody been doing all they can to try to stop me, too, from moving forward because of codependency on my energy and stuff. I feel like, too. And it's like, don't want to help me to create and these things because it's me. And then they come for me. And they're my adventures. And course i'm getting credit for it and but if we together we together but you know what i'm saying i want to be able to have my own income and this will make a lot of income and i can come down to it i want to leave i can't because now we got a source of income to what i can take this and because it did come from me as my bitch and i have the company and that's the thing too i was guiding to open up do me an llc and stuff my website and stuff with my ain't paint my art and put my art on art well even though i shared it with a family member and they took that idea for me too um that's why you really can't share people stuff or nothing. Not even the person you love because if you share something with somebody that you're in a relationship with and they don't help you uh, uh, with your accomplishment, help you create that or uh, 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 go out that way to make sure you do have the means or whatever to, to be able to do those things that they know can bring in revenue for y'all, then that person ain't going to be trusted either. I'm just going to keep it real on 100, but... You know, you be trying to hope you can get help from somebody and, you know, you would think that your significant other definitely want to help you. But that's how you know, like, people that want to kind of keep you stuck and don't want you to do nothing and get in here because, you know, they ain't doing you right in this case. You're going to leave, leave them. Not knowing one day you're still going to end up doing great and leaving anyway. Like, you know, I don't know why people be underestimating me. Like, I won't make moves if it come down to it. Like, God ain't going to make a way for me because they always do. Source is always, the divine have always made the way for me, and people have always tried to hold me back and not support me, and, you know, because I've always been brilliant, even when I was trying to go to school and stuff. 
You know, I always tell my story how people make it hard for me to continue to do things and they'll put things away. And it'd be my fault because, you know, no help, no family helping mm-hmm. with my child, my children, or nothing like that. And if they is helping, they doing some underhand thing to try to keep me, get me in the system or hold me back or put my make my life be in shambles or it's just, you know, people, oh, like all these ops and every goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? All these fucking ops. But they can't stop me. They can't stop me. The Lord forbid, you know. I know people doing spell work and shit on me. Because the thing is, and, and trying to stop me in any type of way. Because imagine if I was to, you know, become very successful, which I'm manifesting that for my life, become very successful, what off, and actually start getting the support and the help I need to create, create these inventions and stuff that I came up with, these ideas, right? And everything my art, another thing that God gives to me, and I actually get help from people to help me to thrive in that. And I've really been doing this on my own. And but finally get some support. Not for the people that should have been supporting me, but they know that the only reason we're together is because I didn't have anywhere to go or nothing. And all of a sudden I get something, I'm able to take care of myself. They they know that I'm going to leave. So what they going to do? They're going to do all they can to stop it because they've been trying to anyway. They've been making sure you, I ain't get on. That, that's scary to me because you don't know what these people are capable of. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you got to kind of 41, 22, and okay, you got to be smart too. You know, you just got to be patient. Wait on God. Know that God going to work everything out. And I know that God will work everything because this ain't the first time I had to be in a situation. I had to be patient and waiting on God. And God, man, when he come through, he come through. But I'm not even. And that's when he came through for me when I was all hurt and damaged and unhealed and stuff. So, like I say, when I get opportunity to really flourish this time in my the divine self as a divine feminine and thriving and stuff, like, man, I know. I know ain't nothing. I'm not going to let nothing or no one to continue to set me back or hold me back. I'm going to make it. I'm going to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not even allowing nothing or no one. Or no, I'm not standing my way no more. Like, I'm over. I'm done with that, yo. I'm done with that. I'm going after what's, what's mine. And I'm not letting nothing or no one stop me. That's why I say I keep saying these people out here have been trying to ruin my life. And the reason why I've been struggling and stuff is because a lot of spell work and stuff anyway. And people trying to sacrifice me and doing all kind of stuff. And me being a whole experiment too. 24, 20, uh, 42, 24 on the clock. All right. Um... I'm not, I'm not, but I'm going to keep going because eventually the universe, no matter what these people do, they got to, the, the the universe got to play out in the way that you present your energy. So if I keep putting my energy out there despite the odds that's been against me and I'm still going and thriving and loving myself, my heart prayer, and I'm living righteously, the universe is going to support me eventually. Their shit is not going to continue to work. I'm going to get all that I'm meant to have and some home. Because I worked hard for it. There's so many people that are trying to stop me. All my life. And there's people out here now that see me. And they don't think I deserve this. They don't understand my life. They don't understand my service. They just think I came out of nowhere. I didn't come out of nowhere. I'm 41 years old. If you think I came out of nowhere, you need to go back to sleep and close your eyes and start all over again. Boom, boom. All right, because I'm just being me every day and I'm sharing my journey, my story, and I'm being and I'm showing up for me in my true self and true form. And that's just that. And I'm going to continue to because I love who I am. And my life experiences ain't did nothing but allow the pressure to create a beautiful dominant motherfucking life. That's why I'm able to bask in my greatness. No matter what I go through, I put a smile on my face, even when I'm crying. When I was meditating early, I was crying. But I was crying because I was giving gratitude. But I was still giving gratitude in the midst of my hurt and my pain. I'm still feeling stuck a little bit. Um, wondering when, how, where, why. Um, but I know I just got to have patience to keep showing up for me. So I'll be like, I'm grateful to sport despite it all. I have to look at everything and thank God. When I look at this room, I like Kiwi. Look at all this beautiful art you don't create. Look at that mirror over there. Look what you're doing now. Look at this room you have. Look, you haven't seen him or meditating spend time here with yourself. Look how far you came. And that's a reason to cry. So much gratitude because despite 
my challenges that I still endure when I have to come to work with my children. Because y'all gotta understand, I got a 16 year old, a 15 year old daughter out there that I sent to my mama when she was 12. Mom passed away a year ago, and they had a took for my mama. My pop, my family plotted to have a took for my mama. All for they can get her, my son, my mom's sister, and my, my family can get my daughter and her kids so they can steal this money from me, this inheritance. They all had a plan and a game for me back home. And y'all don't even understand what I'm going through and what I've been through. Why y'all want to beat me so bad and hate on me out there? Now, I don't look like the fuck I've been through. I don't look like what the fuck I'm going through right now. Because I wear that shit on my heart. And love despite it all. And I don't hate nobody. I don't hate my family. I don't hate none of them. I know those people are sick. They ill. They, they, they the one that's sick and mentally disturbed and got money problems, money hungry and all kind of stuff. They've been had four, five, five, five on the clock. They've been had this fake ass lifestyle that they've been living through conning and hustling and manipulating all their damn life and energy hybrids and doing all this spell work just to have something appear as something that they really not to, you know, they been trying to keep up their facade and uh, confirmation, bro, excuse me, that they no longer work anymore. So, I'm just being patient. Divine timing, baby. She got to have patience. Keep, as long as I'm focusing on me like I'm doing now, I focus on me. I tell my journey, I show up. Uh, you know, I do this, but I focus on me. This, this right here, as I focus on me, I meditate, I, I, I read. I record myself. I, I um, this is therapy for me as well too. You know what I'm saying? And um, but I'm not up here bawling my eyes and playing a victim like that either. No, I'm not like, up here. Oh, won't nobody have any sympathy or pity for me either? Cause I don't need none of that. Do you understand me? I don't need none of that. I appreciate the support though. I'm not finna get up here bawling my eyes out crying and woe me so motherfuckers can act like they care all of a sudden out of sympathy because they won't. It's fake. If you can't support me while I'm thriving, then you ain't, you fake anyway. And I don't want fake people around me. Fake people be snakes. They can shake, rattle, and roll the fuck on up out of here because, uh, baby, I can be the fucking cobra. And I might just end up coming to that ass. I'm just saying. <laughs> and I be up here being all of me, though, with my heart pretty. You know, I got, you know, I do. I had like this, I can have this mean streak about me. But I got a good fucking heart. I never do anything to hurt nobody. So I wouldn't defend myself or come down to it. I used to fight a lot back in the day. I had to fight a lot of battles. Like I was. I had to fight, fight physically. I was a very violent poor person, and when I had to be violent in my life growing up, I was abused as a child. True enough, I'm over there. They ain't went, you know, ain't gonna cry about that. Hey, that's life. Um, it happened. It ain't make me or break me a day. You know what I'm saying? I had, uh, I was molested and some more stuff. I had to do a lot of stuff. My childhood was fucking rough. I was, oof. I had to fight a lot of fights, but I won every last one of them motherfuckers. <laughs> no cap so you know I don't fight no more I don't, I don't fight with my physical anymore and they attack that so I don't work out and all that stuff I fight with my love for me and my heart and I allow my divine source creator my ancestors and my energy to show up and fight for me for my love for myself to keep thriving that's the fight I have to be a better version of me every day and know that I don't have to be that person that I used to be and I'm no longer her I have grown to multifaceted parts of myself, and I will continue to experience more parts of who I am that I hadn't even discovered yet, because that's what it's all about. Discovering who you are wholeheartedly, multi, you're a multidimensional, multi-universal universal being. That's why everything I paint that you see has a cosmos in it, a universe in it. But I probably just work on like this side over here because I am getting tired. And um, 
I probably won't even finish this part over here. I'll probably do one more row. And then I'm going to wrap it up. <clears throat> but yeah, because I'm 4950. Okay, 5000, okay. So I love you all. And um, remember, the pressure do what? Only creates a beautiful diamond of light. Until next time. Mm -hmm. Bye now.